it's Rachel so today I'm going to be doing a review on the press and go press on manicure nails and this is kind of a throwback to something that I sorry my dog is barking really loud this is a throwback to something that I probably used when I was really really young not this particular brand but I haven't used press on nails when I was since I was a kid and used to get the ones that kind of had like the um, French manicure and they're quite long and they had like the little flower design maybe on the ring finger with like a little crystal on it or something like that and you kind of wore them to make you feel grown up because they looked kind of like real acrylic nails even though you were too young for acrylic nails anyway that was my that's my kind of take on press on nails and I haven't used them um, since then and then I recently saw these these are a new product and I thought why not give them a go see what they're like and because um, they are, have like really really cute designs and see if the whole press on nail um, has improved since I was a little girl so the packaging looks like this. They come in these really cute little, when you take them out of the box, they look like little um, nail polish, I guess you would call them, bottles, but they just twist off and then the nails are inside of there. So I actually really like the packaging. I think it's a great way to store the nails. You get 24 nails in a packet, 12 different sizes. So basically, if you could use one different size for each nail, that would mean that you would get two sets of nails. And they're supposed to last up to a week. I've had mine on for eight days now. I've been testing them out. So I think that could actually last you longer than a week, depending on what you do with them. And in the packet, like I said, you get the 24 nails and you also get a little, it almost looks like a wet one, but basically it's like a prep thing to clean your nails. I think it basically removes any oils on your nails so that they are ready for um, application. So I have two types here to show you guys. The ones that I'm actually wearing are called Over the Moon. And this uh, set, which is a nude color with lace over the top, is called Hola or Hola or however you want to say it. So they do have some cute designs. You can also get French tips and then some plain colors and stripes and things like that. So they do have a whole different set or different looks for you guys. So you can find one that you like. So in terms of application, it's quite simple. You do have to cut your nails right back. And I mean right back. The nails are quite short. so. I've had to, even though my nails were short, I still had to cut mine down basically to the skin. So make the nails as short as possible, remove any nail polish that you already have on it, and then you take the little wet one or the wipe that you use and wipe all your nails down. Now they do recommend to do this, and I would say so too, is to go through and work out and pick out each nail size for each of your 10 nails and lay them out in order. So I found that the nail sizes weren't necessarily the greatest. I there were a few nail sizes that were way too big so that I would never be able to use them and then some of the other nails I did have to fiddle around for a little bit but in the end I did find 10 nails that would fit each of my 10 nails but it has meant that I probably won't get two lots of wear out of them I'll probably only get one lot so that's kind of a downside um, once you have them all set out I uh, will take out a nail to show you guys they have a little plastic I guess you could call it a little tip on the end here. So you can see it's like a little bit of plastic. This is the part that goes against your cuticle. So when you're lining them up, you line them up with that against your cuticle. Then you just peel it off, place it on the nail, press it down really, really hard, and then you're done. And they recommend to do all your nails on your fingers first and do your thumb last, and I recommend that as well. It makes it the easiest. Do hold them down for a few seconds so you know that they're in place, and then that's it. So it's really easy application. I do like that. In terms of wear, like I said, I've had mine on for eight days now and they aren't coming off. I, If they come off, it'll be for me probably taking them off. I reckon you could probably get at least 10 days with them, depending on what you do and what your kind of work is, how often. They probably come up if you like worked in a cafe or in a kitchen and you um, washed up a lot, then something like that, or if you did a lot of manual labor, then they may come off sooner rather than um, later. But for me, I have found that so far they haven't fallen off. They're all still on there. Where now, what they do is they don't chip at the end, but as you can see, the pattern, I guess, wears away from the end slowly. So that wasn't straight away, but you can actually see kind of the plastic nail, that white line at the tip of the nail. That's where the color on each of the nail has worn away. The other thing too, if you can see at the very tip of the nails, and I don't know whether you'll be able to because the camera is not picking up on it as much, but there is like a little square tab at the tip of the nail that comes from underneath and it actually comes as like the nails have been um, I guess and m most of mine have actually worn away you can probably see it best on this one here there's like it's like the nails when they were produced were on like a line and then snapped off something so 
it was kind of a funny shape that felt weird at the end of the nail, like when you ran your fingers like that. But that seems to actually have worn away, I guess, from having them on for the whole week. The wearing at the ends is not an issue because from unless you look at them up really, really close, even with this dark colour, it doesn't really affect the manicure and I think it still looks fine. It's not like a nail polish that's chipped. You can still leave them like this and it's not an issue. My biggest pet peeve with these, and I think it's probably their biggest downfall, is that this side isn't necessarily sealed to the top. So what happens is, if I go like this and run my hair through, look, it's caught. So I have to, they basically get caught in my hair. I can't move my hands, they're stuck. Every single time that I wear them, and they usually pull out hair. And the thing is that over a week from that happening, you get little chips and breaks actually at the top of the nail as opposed to being at the end of your nail. So the end of your nails don't break at all, they're fine. It's the top that, if you can see there, see how it's not even anymore? It's because it's actually broken away. Again, it's not an issue in terms of the aesthetic look of them. You can't see it, but you do know that it happens. Now, this is probably the reason why it's not something, in my opinion, that you would wear all the time. If you have long hair, if you like playing with your hair, if you have thick hair, if you do hair, like if it's your job and you have to play and touch hair a lot, then these probably aren't the greatest for you because it is really, really annoying getting your fingers stuck in your hair all the time. That is what bugged me. I didn't mind having the nails on my actual fingers because because they're so short, I didn't feel like they were going to like break off or anything like that or be forced off which is what I felt like the old when I was younger the press on nails used to do they used to like lift at the ends I don't have any issues with that I actually like the length of them I didn't like the fact that I had to cut my nails back but I liked the length of them once they were on because they were short enough they didn't feel like they were going to fall off um, they were just a really good length once they were sort of sitting on my nails but the getting them ripped in your hair is probably why I wouldn't wear these regularly what I do think they would be good for is one, if you have really short hair and you don't play with it a lot, then it's fine. If you do touch your hair once throughout the day, then it's not an issue. It's more if you do it all the time. If you see me, I'm always playing with my hair. It's thick, it gets in my face, I need to brush it away and my fingers always get tangled in it. So if you have short hair, then they're fine. If you needed them for a specific um, special occasion so I think if you're going to a wedding and you didn't have time to do your nails and you just want to put them on for a few days because they looked really nice and you didn't have time to do a proper manicure they would be great like I said for me it's more something that you would use on a special occasion or when you need to have your nails done but you just don't have time to do them you don't have time to shape them and style them you don't have time to wait for them to dry then these would be good for that kind of occasion or if you just want to have a day or a week where you have some really funky designs then I think this would be really good for that as well if, nail, if you need nail art for something then this is like the quickest nail art ever because you don't have to actually do anything so that is when these nails would be good now in terms of price, I think these range between $13 to $15 depending on where you buy them from. So if you get the two sets out of it, if your nail sizes work out that you can use, like you get two lots of 10 from that 24, then that's great. I suppose that works out as about $7 a manicure for a week and that's fine. However, if you like me and the sizes didn't work out and you only get one set of nails out of that $14 that is probably not the best in terms of price it's not ridiculously expensive but considering they did annoy me a little bit uh, and I would probably if I wore them again wouldn't wear them for as long a period of time price is a little bit too expensive so in terms of whether I would I repurchase them again that's a yes and a no I wouldn't repurchase them again for everyday wear or just for fun because I feel like I probably they probably annoyed me more than I enjoyed them. People, I got a lot of compliments on them. People really liked the look of them and I really like the look of them too. But I really think they need to do something in terms of fixing up the way it's sealed to the very tip of your nails so you don't get that thing where they get caught on your hair. I didn't find it get got caught on anything else. So like I said, if you don't have long hair or if it's not something that you think would bug you, then it they're great, but if you do, then it may be something that would really annoy you. I would, however, purchase them again for maybe a special occasion, so if I wanted, was going to a wedding or if I had like a job interview and I knew I didn't have time to do my nails, it would be good to have those French tip ones or something like that just 
on hand just for when you just need that instant manicure and you don't have time to wait for your nails to dry or for you to paint them or things like that. I think they're good in that sense but for everyday wear they're not for me. I really am actually quite looking forward to taking them off as much as I think they're gorgeous. I really can't stand them when they get caught in my hair. So that is it. That is my thoughts and opinions on the Press and Go Press On Manicure Nails. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried them before, what you thought. If you have any other questions, I'll definitely try and answer them for you. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!